Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. In this group of lessons, we are learning how to prepare a data source to support an advanced workflow. In this lesson, we will learn how to transpose a business process diagram into a ProjectWise workflow. You have already learned why and how to create a rules engine user. Next, we will look at a project-wise workflow to see if any changes need to be made to support the project team's design review process. Remember our stakeholders, the project team. During the requirements gathering workshop, the BIM manager and the project team created a process diagram that visualizes the project team's design process. To summarize, a peer review will occur while the document is flagged as work in progress. A cross-discipline review will occur while the document is flagged as pending approval. A constructability review will occur once the document is flagged as approved. If a revision is needed, the current version needs to be designated as obsolete, and the new version gets designated as work in progress to restart the cycle. So how do we translate the process to a project-wise workflow? Remember, a project-wise workflow is defined as a series of document milestones called states. In our process diagram, there are three user-initiated milestones, work in progress, pending approval, and approved. There is also a fourth milestone needed to capture out-of-date revisions as obsolete. The order in this case is work in progress, pending approval, approved, and obsolete. In ProjectWise Administrator, we create the states, create the workflow, then add the states to the workflow in the correct order. Congratulations! You now know how to translate a business process diagram into a project-wise workflow with states. We are now ready to update a project-wise environment that will interact with the rules engine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.